from the newsroom at news.com.au. Hi, I'm Lexi Cartwright. And I'm Andrew Bucklow. And this is the latest from the newsroom. It's Tuesday the 16th of February. Two billionaires have proposed a plan to quarantine up to 2,000 Aussies returning from overseas. Now, Lindsay Fox owns the Avalon Airport. He's in talks with the Commonwealth and the Victorian government to accommodate international arrivals in a low-risk rural setting near Geelong. Under a separate plan, Queensland businessman John Wagner said he would get behind a quarantine site next to Toowoomba's Wellcamp Airport, which would charge the same fees as city hotels and could take up to 1,000 returnees. To other news, and a nurse has been injured after a stray bullet from a drive-by shooting hit a Western Sydney hospital last night. Two men dressed in black shot multiple rounds into a townhouse in Auburn at 8pm. The residents of the home were inside but uninjured, but a nurse at the nearby Auburn hospital was hit in the leg by shrapnel when a stray bullet flew through a rear window. It is understood the shooting was connected to a war between two Sydney crime families. Alright, moving on, there's a bizarre story coming out of Russia. A 23-year-old mum who already has 11 kids with her 56-year-old billionaire husband has revealed that she wants to have at least 100 children in total. Oh, God, they better get busy. Well, the woman gave birth to her first child, but the rest were carried by surrogates. Now, each surrogacy costs $12,500, so that's a lot of money. All righty, to some royal news now, and Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are set to spill some secrets during a primetime TV interview with Oprah on March 7th. This is going to be good. According to a press release, Oprah will speak with Meghan about stepping into life as a royal, marriage, motherhood, and how she is handling life under intense public pressure. Later on, the two will be joined by Prince Harry, and the couple will speak about their move to the US and their future hopes for expanding their family. Oh, the palace is going to hate that interview. Finishing with sport now, little-known Aussie runner Oliver Hall has stunned the athletics world with a blistering time during a 1,500-metre race in New York. Oliver Hall, the 24-year-old Australian, comes home across the line. 3.32.36. Wow. That makes him about the sixth fastest in history at this distance. The 24-year-old's time was an Australian indoor record for the 1,500 metres. It also qualifies Hall for the upcoming Tokyo Olympics. Fun fact, did you know the last Aussie to win a gold in the 1,500 metres at the Olympics was Herb Elliott in 1960? Since then, no Aussie has even finished in the top three. Well, fingers crossed for Hall then. And hey, if you need to update your tech, news.com.au is giving two lucky readers a brand new Samsung Galaxy S21 and a pair of Galaxy Buds Live worth 1,500 bucks. If you want them, enter now at news.com.au forward slash win. That's it for this episode of From the Newsroom. We'll be back with another update in the Arvo. Your update from news.com.au.